Before we get into this, make sure you sign up to the GoHerping mailing list because I send an email out about each week with different updates on the website, YouTube channel, and other stuff. So if you want to get some new updates, go to the first link in the description. You can just go enter your email and sign up to the list. So something a lot of you have been asking recently is whether you can feed your snake more than one mouse at a time. Basically, instead of upgrading the size of your mouse to say maybe a rat or just a larger size, you might want to feed two smaller sized mice at once. But we're gonna talk about whether this is safe, whether this is healthy, how this compares to feeding just a larger size and some different stuff on that. So like a year ago or something, I had some people tell me that it wasn't safe to do this, like something about how snake stomachs are like sensitive and it could be dangerous and rupture it or something. But I did a bunch of research and I can find zero evidence of this. In fact, I checked about two dozen sources and everything says it's completely fine to feed your snake more than one mice, one, more than one mouse, as long as you do it correctly because there's some things to keep in mind. So I don't know what that weird stuff those other people told me. Disregard that, it didn't really matter for me because I didn't plan on doing it anyway. But we can go ahead and talk about how to actually safely do it and things to keep in mind. So firstly, when a snake senses a mouse or rat in the area, or rabbit even, or squirrel, or whatever it's eating where it lives, it's gonna kinda go into a little hunting mode. I noticed the same things with some of my other animals. At this time, they know there's food in the area, so they wanna be really on edge to make sure they don't miss this opportunity to eat. But then once that snake does find its food, which hopefully it will if you're feeding it in an enclosure, it'll eat that food and then swallow it. But afterwards, it'll still be kind of in that hunting phase because where there's one mouse or rat or whatever, there might be another since they are often in the same area out in the wild and they don't wanna pass this opportunity up to get more food because they don't know when the next time they'll uh, actually come across food in the wild is. So it's important that you feed the second mouse at the right time. You don't wanna do it too early. If your snake is still swallowing that first mouse, it's really gonna have trouble getting the second, but the problem is it might still attempt it since it doesn't wanna miss out. But this is not something you really wanna put your snake through. So make sure it swallowed the first mouse first, and then once it's completely down or whatever type of rodent it is, then feed it the second one. You also don't wanna do this too late because they'll kinda of go out of that hunting mode. It's not like it's dangerous if they don't eat it, but there is a chance they'll just refuse it and then you'll have a mouse that you have to refreeze or toss out or something. I've noticed for mine, this little phase might last maybe 10 minutes or so. Looks like other people say it's about 15 minutes, so I'm sure it varies for each snake. But the first thing is just making sure you don't feed your second mouse too early or too late compared to the first one that you fed it. The second thing is, some snakes might just refuse it. Uh, kind of like how some snakes won't upgrade to certain sizes or won't upgrade to a certain type, like some have difficulty switching from mice to rats, so you might need to feed it more than one. Snakes are just weird like that. They are all very different individuals. They have different personalities and stuff. And some snakes even just refuse certain colors of mice, like maybe they'll only take white or only take black. But if your snake is not taking the second one, don't be too surprised, don't be too concerned, it might just not want to take a second. It's just kind of a matter of opinion and how that snake feels. But the second thing I want you to think about when feeding multiple rodents is the actual size because I feel like it could be easier to overfeed when you do this. Now I don't feed my snakes based on weight, I just do it based on the size of the mouse compared to the girth of the snake. But some people do uh, feed their snake based on the weight of the food compared to the body weight of the animal which that works too. But this is something that you might wanna use if you're feeding more than one, cause let's say your snake should be eating a 50 gram uh, rodent. Then you'd wanna try and find two rodents that are about 25 grams each. I think it would be easier to, like I said, overfeed, cause maybe there's two rodents that are like 35 grams uh, instead of 25, but when they're just next to each other, they kinda look like they equal that bigger size. So weighing the actual rodents might not be a bad idea but really just be mindful of how large these things actually are because you don't want to overfeed your snake. You don't want too much in its stomach. You don't want it to get fat or obese. You want it to stay healthy and have the right amount of food. If you do want to weigh, I have a scale I've been using for a couple years. I linked it in the description if you want to go buy that. You can also use it to weigh your animals, which I do with all these right now. The next thing that I want to talk about is how often you should actually do this. So some people asked if they should feed their snake more often, like instead of feeding one large rat once a week, if they can feed like two small rats, but do one on Monday and one on Thursday or something. And I think it would be better, this is also according to some of the sources I checked, 
to actually feed them back to back on the same day. So try and feed those two mice right on the same day. In fact, like I said, within the same few minutes of it eating the first one, because you don't want your snake to constantly be digesting, constantly be on edge from having food in it, kind of like how you want to wait a couple days before handling your snake uh, after it eats or just a day or whatever. So I think your snake will be happier if you do this on the same day within the same few minutes instead of just feeding really often and spreading them all out over the week or month or whatever. But the final point I want to make is kind of wrapping it around to another thing we already talked about a little and that is really just doing what your snake wants and what it will do. Uh, overall you really don't have total control, it is up to your snake that kind of own you when it comes to what they will and won't eat. So maybe you don't want to upgrade to rats uh, so you try the two smaller mice and it doesn't work, well unfortunately you're gonna have to get those rats. Even if you can't find them in stores, you can order them online and get them from different places because you don't want to like force feed your snake just because it's not taking what you want. So yeah, you don't always have the option, but just like how some snakes might not eat the larger sizes, maybe you're forced to do the smaller even if you don't want it. So of course make sure your snake is eating what it needs and when it needs, but make sure you kind of leave that decision up to the animal if it is not doing what you want. But hopefully this can bring you some new insight. In the comments, make sure to leave what you know about this or just anything else that might help out other keepers or me. So yeah, leave some opinions in the comments. Again, make sure you hit that first link in the description to sign up to the mailing list where you'll get about a weekly email with different updates. But that'll be it for this video. So I'm Alex and thanks for watching.